Hi guys and welcome to the test rep card channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to fill the MHT CET 2022 application form. This application form has already been released a few days back on February 10th and is available till 31st of March. So, if you're from Maharashtra or any other state and are looking to get admission in the premium engineering institutions like COEP, VJTI, ICT Mumbai, VIT Pune and other such institutions, then you have to appear in the Maharashtra Entrance Examination first, which is commonly known as MHT CET. So, let's see how to fill out the application form for MHT CET. And before starting the video, we recommend you to keep a scanned copy of the documents before filling the form. These documents are passport size photo, signature, Aadhaar card, domicile certificate, caste certificate and a working mobile number. And if you are an NRI, OCI or FN candidate, then you can download the DASA CIWG ebook from the description box below. Coming back to the video, here are the steps that need to be followed. Search for the link to the official website on Google for which the link has been shared in the description box below. The displayed window will appear with two highlighted icons, new registration and the already registered option. The candidates who have already registered for the exam before can check the details by clicking on the already registered option. While for fresh candidates applying for the exam, you have to click on the new registration option. On clicking the new registration option, a list of instructions will appear before you wherein the eligibility criteria and the things to keep in mind have been shared before proceeding with the examination. One point that has been highlighted specifically is for the candidates to use only one mobile number and one email address throughout the entire process. On verifying the instructions, click on I accept and proceed to the next form. The next display will ask for your personal details like your full name, parent's name, gender, date of birth and more. Make sure to fill in the correct details as the same details will be added to your application form. Enter the same contact number and the email address that you will be using throughout the process. On adding the password, make sure to fulfill the password policy which states that the password needs to be 8 to 13 characters long with upper and lower case letters along with numeric and special characters. We'll suggest you to make a note for the same for future reference. On saving the shared details, an OTP will be sent to the registered mobile number which you will have to share for further verification. It is important to note the application number as it will be used for reference in the future too. On saving the data, sign in with the required credentials to complete the initial process for registration. On signing in, you will observe the status of the forms which are to be completed in order to successfully register for the exam. Starting with the domicile and category details, you will get two options Candidates from Maharashtra themselves can select the option as yes, while the non-state candidates will have to fill up as no along with a confirmation for a disability in the form of yes or no itself. Once you click on the save option, the next form to be filled up will automatically be displayed on the screen and you will not have to go back and forth to select the required form. In this section for the qualification details, you will have to fill up the confirmation for SSC and HSC equivalent details confirming the score, the selected board and the year of completion. Based on your selection of the updated details, you might get more options like the state, district and more details for confirmation as shown. On saving these details, the next form that will be displayed is for the MHT CET exam details wherein the candidates get the option for selecting the subject group, the preferred language along with the preferred examination centers with more than one location of their choice. Click on the save button to update the details that will display the option for the candidate to upload the photograph as well as the signature. 
These are going to be used for the confirmation and also on the final application. Click on the save option to update. Next, the candidates will have to upload their document as a proof of identity wherein you will get various options like PAN card, passport, voter ID card, etc. to upload as an identity proof. You can also use any recent identity card issued by the school or college and upload the same on selecting the preferred identity proof. This was the final step for the details confirmation process which you can verify through the next screen display and edit before the final step of the registration. Click on the Yes option if you wish to proceed with the final step for the registration that is the payment option. Based on the details updated, the fee would be calculated for the registration and in case of any changes to be made, you can select the option from the left side of the screen and update accordingly. It is recommended for the candidates to carefully fill in the details and then proceed for the final step, which is the payment process for successfully registering oneself for the exam. So, this is all for this video and I hope you found this video helpful. If you need any study material of MHT CET, then you can download the MHT CET free study material from the link given in the description box below. Do like and subscribe for more information regarding MHT CET, JE and other engineering entrance examinations and do not forget to press the bell icon to be updated with the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching us.